Good morning, everybody. Today is December 4th, 2018, Tuesday, second trading day of the month. Looking here for a signal, just getting to my computer. Um, it looks like we got an awesome signal on Baba here on the opening um, bell, but it's the first five minute candle. Again, I don't like to trade those, but that looks like uh, that would have netted you really good returns right there. Let's check Forex Factory. As always, we have 10 o'clock Eastern Time, FOMC member speaking. So that's about it. That's about it. It's nothing, nothing major except for FOMC member speaking. So maybe waiting until um, that happens in about 15 minutes or so. Again, we're going to continue to be patient as always. I'm going to try to get in on this move here on SPY. Gosh, it ju the candle just opened up. I'm going to wait a bit here. I'm going to be very patient here. Uh, I want to see uh, more of the candle. I'm looking at the 277 puts that expire in two days, I believe. Two days. Three days, excuse me. Candle's about to close and still no, no real momentum except for that candle. I haven't bought anything. And I'm not liking this one here. Hmm. Yeah, not trading this one. It's a good thing I didn't jump in. Although I say that now and it's absolutely going to go uh, down like crazy. See, this is a bit better here. Hey, everybody. Um, it's 520 my, my time, Mountain Standard Time. Uh, the market closes at 2 o'clock my time. And I just wanted to show you what happened today just in case you were living under uh, a rock. So as you saw in the video, this was the uh, signal that um, produced, that was produced, that I did not trade, I did not trade it. And I just wanted to show you um, what happened, the aftermath. You could have bought um, even as high as $1.75, uh, between $1.75 and $1.42, anywhere around here. That's a big swing, that is, that is a big swing, I get that. But nonetheless, I did get a signal here. Um, went up. This is what I didn't like. Uh, I didn't like the fact that it went up so high. But anyways, it wouldn't have stopped me out per my um, stop loss, basically. I got another signal here on the uh, one minute. Again, this is the one minute spy, five minute spy. And this is the actual chart on the actual put options that I was looking at. The 277 put options that expire in three days. Well, anyways... Could have bought it as high as 175, okay? And let me zoom out. What happened? That's that signal right here that, that was produced. Yep. Look at that. Went from, I mean, let's see, what's the low here? 276.84 all the way down to. The low of the day is 269.90, so 270, guys. These put options that were trading at $1.75 that I never traded, that I never got in, ended up uh, closing at $7.22. So from 175 to 722. I didn't trade that signal. And I debated showing you um, today's recording of me not getting in on that signal. And let's not even talk about what this could have done for, for me um, as a day trader. Um, I don't want to talk about, you know, uh, shoulda, woulda, coulda. It's going to serve as a reminder uh, to, to, you know, have confidence in, in my, in my, um, trading and my strategy, my um, algorithm. Um, but mainly I, I, I wanted to put this one out there because this is real trading. Um, I'm not, my channel isn't much about doing recaps, showing you a still shot and saying, hey, you could have bought in here and there. I've said this a thousand times. And it really irks me. It really gets under my skin, all those YouTube channels, that they try to sell you something. They try to shove 
you know, uh, uh, their, 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 their product down your throat. And that's how they make money. That's how they make money in the stock market. Um, and then there's a lot of channels, YouTube channels that, um, they, they try to educate you on how to use particular indicators when they don't trade uh, the stock market themselves. In essence, they go out, um, they take all these indicators, uh, they bundle it together and then they try to sell it to you. All, all this stuff can be obtained. All this information can, can be obtained f for absolutely free. You don't ever have to pay for it for any of that. So anyways, um, I, I just really wanted to show you that I'm finding some good trades. Um, I have my own reasons why I didn't actually trade it. And I'm kicking myself. Um, at the end of the day, they're just excuses. Um, to me, in my opinion, the market was really, really slow. And it did have some, in my opinion, um, I haven't looked at any news sources or anything like, like that, but I, I have some, I have an idea that the FOMC member speaking today had something to do with that massive move. I think, I don't know, I, I, I just got home from, from work. I haven't looked at any uh, news, so um, that's what I'm thinking happened. So because of that, um, I knew that uh, FOMC member was, was speaking and I figured that's why the market was was trading really slowly at that time. And up until the, the huge move, you could have squeezed out that 10%. Uh, you could have, absolutely. Um, but man, like it, this move that happened today, it's every day tra trader's dream of being in. And I don't necessarily want to go in and speculate. Yeah, I would have, you know, I would have held on through that whole entire drop because I know deep down that I wouldn't have. Uh, you guys know me. You guys know. You guys are shaking your head. You're like, yeah, Giovanni, you wouldn't have traded it all the way down there anyway. So um, you're right. I'm, I, I think I'm right. Um, but anyways, it just comes to show that I need to have uh, more confidence in, in my trading strategy. And mind you, um, I did switch up my trading strategy, so it's somewhat new. Uh, new developments happened uh, this past week. I'm still working on them. I'm still trying to iron out the uh, wrinkles. So that um, sort of uh, played a factor in why I didn't trade uh, today's signal. But at the end of the day, they're just excuses, guys. So I hope that you guys can appreciate at least that I'm showing you this. Um, I'm showing you all my mistakes. Um, I'm not just, you know, making tutorial videos and, and saying, hey, you know what, use the MACD, use the RSI, here's how you use it. That all, you know, there's you can find all that crap. Uh, I really believe that all, you just you, that's all just crap. You can find all that crap on YouTube, on somebody else's channel, not my channel, um, and I want to keep it that way. But anyways... Uh, I'm so sorry. This was a, uh, maybe a rant. Uh, maybe I'm mad at myself. Uh, yes, I am frustrated in other YouTube channels because all they do is they give you crap information. Uh, they don't give you real world experiences and they don't show you your trade, their trades. Um, and they don't talk about money management. They don't talk about the psychological aspect of trading. They don't talk about the emotional aspect of trading. Um, it's so easy. Any schmuck can turn on the camera and just bring up some indicators and show you, you know, how to use them. Um, not here, not here. I, I'm not about that. So please bear with me. I'm, I'm learning. I, I, I'm, I've been at this for quite some time, but I'm still learning. And I hope you guys can appreciate that at the very least, I am showing you all of my mistakes. Uh, whether I get into a trade or not, whether I lose or win, I'm showing you here uh, in my on my channel. Again, at a thousand subscribers, I'll tell you everything. Everything I I, I know. Um, I'll show you the indicator uh, that I'm that I'm using the uh, algorithm, the script, and whatnot. So, hit that subscribe button down below. Like and share my videos. I would greatly appreciate it. And thank you again for tuning in. I greatly appreciate it. Let's look for another good trade. Uh, tomorrow.